Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com. Today, let's talk about painting things that glow, like these torches. Now, a great way to do it that I have always used is to make a new layer and paint, but then to change that layer's blending mode to linear dodge. And this just has a nice uh, glowing effect. So the way I'll generally do it is I'll pick sort of a dark but saturated value, and I'll paint with it. And you can see that just has kind of a nice glow look. The problem comes into play when you need to modify part of your document later, and this then changes. The reason it'll change is because linear dodge is deriving its color based on the color of the underlying layer. That's how it makes that cool look. If I were to change it back to the normal blending mode, this is the truth. It's really this kind of dark brown. There are a number of situations where you need the layer to have an actual color that looks like glowing fire and to not rely on the layer's blending mode. For example, I painted this flame here and you can see its blending mode is normal. So it has the same kind of look. It's got that color ramp from red to yellow to white and you know it, it has the same end result, but it doesn't have to rely on having its blending mode set to linear dodge. So the way I've achieved that is actually by painting with the blending mode of the brush itself. So this is important here. This is an interesting distinction. The layer's blending mode is normal. So if I were to paint with brown, it looks like brown. Up here in the properties bar for the brush tool, I can change its blending mode to linear dodge. And now, as I lay down strokes, they kind of build up and achieve that same result. So maybe I'll make a little bit lighter here to get to that white color. So you see, I did not pick all those different colors. It is doing that linear dodge effect, but the only colors it's deriving the result from are the colors on this layer. You'll notice this layer is still the normal blending mode. In fact, I can change the brush back to normal, the way I'm used to painting, and here it just paints as you'd expect. And so I'm going to delete a few of these just to kind of free up some space and actually paint my torches. So I would start with, again, a normal layer, and I'd pick a color that seemed good, and set the brush mode to linear dodge, and start painting it in. And you can see as those strokes overlap each other, they start to blow out and give me that nice color ramp. And of course I can erase away what I don't need. And maybe I'll make one more layer under that and I'll use a softer brush just to get this kind of glow look here. And then to transition the two together, I'll erase away where they kind of overlap a little bit. And then I'm going to kind of carve away what I don't need. OK, so that was a bit quick and dirty, but you can get the idea. Here's the crucial part. I'm using the brush tool, and I've accidentally forgotten and left its mode on linear dodge. Here's where you start making mistakes. Next time you go to paint, you expect the brush to behave normally, and it won't. When you're done painting, torches or whatever glows, switch your brush blending mode back to normal. I'm going to say that again. When you are done painting glowing things, remember to set your brush blending mode back to normal. It is unrelated to the layers blending mode. So here I have flattened those two layers together. So I have a single layer that is my glowing torch. And I can duplicate it. I can do whatever I want with it. This is a normal blending mode layer which in a lot of cases is just going to make your life easier. So I encourage you to go out there and paint things that glow and try changing the brushes blending mode to linear dodge. But remember to change it back. I don't want to get a bunch of emails about why your brush tool doesn't work anymore. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.